This is how you export an image from Lightroom Classic to create a physical print. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in this post-production tips video, we're gonna talk about how to export a quality image out of Lightroom Classic in order to create a physical print. Now, as you can see, I'm here in the Visual Center Print Lab, so it's only appropriate that we talk about printing today. Now, let's get started. Now, as you can see here, I have this image of my friend snowshoeing. Now, I've finished editing this image the way I want. Now, there are three different ways to access the export dialog box. I can right-click on the image anywhere and select export, and then go to export with the ellipses here at the top. Or I can go over to file, my file menu, and select export here. Or in my library module, I can go down to the export button found in this left bottom corner. Now, all three techniques are going to reveal the export dialog box as you see here on the screen. We can hide the different options that we wanna use when exporting an image. So first and foremost, we can select the export location. Here, I'm gonna actually select export to and choose folder after I select export. You can also choose a specific folder by clicking here or one of these other common locations below here. But again, I'm selecting choose folder later. Now next, what I'm interested in when it comes to printing is going to be my file settings. The first option I'm going to select is going to be the image format. I can select any one of these formats. Now when I print, I'm gonna either select a JPEG or a TIFF. Now be sure to subscribe so you won't miss our future video all about different file formats and their print quality. Now I'm gonna leave quality all the way up to 100 and then I'm gonna select a color space. Now you wanna export an image with a larger color space. So something like P3, Adobe RGB 1998 or Profoto. I'm gonna go with Adobe RGB 1998. Now image sizing. Now I usually recommend that people export the image at the size, the dimensions that they actually want the physical print to be. So with this, I want this to be an eight by 10 print. So I'm gonna select resize to fit. I can either select width and height and type in eight by 10, or what I like to do is use long edge and then select my dimensions here. So inches and 10. Now, one thing I will say is when you type in 10 and hit the tab key on your keyboard, you'll see that it gives you a decimal point. Now it looks like 10,000, but it's actually 10 decimal point and then three zeros. So that's 10 inches on the long edge. Now resolution, I'm gonna leave at 300 pixels per inch. Now 300 pixels per inch is a high enough resolution that human vision shouldn't be able to see the individual pixels in the final print. Now be sure to watch for an upcoming video all about print resolution. Now output sharpening, I usually select the type of paper I want to print to. I'm gonna select a glossy paper and I'm gonna select low amount. Standard does a pretty good job, but high is a little bit too much. But I've sharpened in Lightroom already, so I'm gonna select low so it doesn't add that much more sharpening. Now metadata, watermarking, and post-processing, I don't need to be concerned about as I'm printing. So now I can select export, and I can select my desktop. I'll export it there. And you can see here the status bar showing me that the image was exported. And here is a preview of my image on my desktop. All right, now you can take that JPEG and either print it yourself or upload it to a trusted printer, someplace like the Visual Center. Be sure to check out our link below in the description for this video. And most importantly, don't forget to print your images. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.